Good morning everyone. It's the end of December already. Where has 2020 gone? It's nearly the end of the whole year. And we've only got now one more day left at school. I know that you're all very, very excited about Christmas and I'm sure you're very excited to be back at school. I have had such a lovely time while we've been at home. I've missed you lots, but I've seen year one nearly every day and I've been part of their home learning and I've been part of their video. And what I have done is I've spoken to all the teachers and they've emailed me and they've told me how hard you've been working when you've been at home. And that's made me so, so proud. I've had lots of lovely emails from your families saying, thank you school, thank you for giving us such good activities and brilliant home learning um, activities. Our children have really enjoyed it and we've really enjoyed it too. Your mums and your dads and your families have also learned such a lot by seeing you learn, which is great because then they can help you even more. Now, normally at the end of each month, we give out some of these very special awards. But because everyone has worked so hard, at the end of this month, I've decided to give one of these to every class. So I've asked all your teachers, and it was a very, very difficult decision. They had to give me the name of just one person. And some teachers couldn't do it. They said, I just can't. They spent a long time thinking, and they said, oh, but that child worked really hard at maths, and that child didn't give up when they were reading. Oh, and that child read every day, and that child did some more learning that they weren't even asked to do. So it was a very difficult decision. But I am going to now announce to you who in your class has won this special badge. And this is the first time that we've got someone from nursery. Because nursery children are part of our school. And that's actually nursery really need to be involved. So in nursery, your teachers have said, Sophie. Sophie is the person who's going to get this badge. And they said Sophie because she's such a kind person kind, helpful friend. She always tries her hardest to look after everybody. So well done, Sophie. In reception, Miss Solomon said Alana. Alana did some fantastic home learning every single day. So well done, Alana, for working hard at home. Mrs Harding has said Ellis. For the same reason, Ellis tries and tries and tries. So well done, Ellis. In year one, Mrs. Blount has chosen Jake. Now I know Jake loves maths, but he wasn't just trying hard with his maths. He was trying hard with everything at home. So well done, Jake. And in 1G, Mrs. Geary chose a girl. And she chose someone who really, really persevered. She doesn't always find learning easy, but she never, ever gives up. So this badge is going to Maisie. Well done, Maisie. In year two, we've got two children who, again, I've seen this. I see them every day working super hard. In 2B, it's Richard, and in 2F, it's Zoe. And Zoe, Miss Forstick, was very, very impressed with you on Zoom. She said, by the end of the two weeks, you'd grown in confidence and you were joining in, which was lovely to see. In year three, we have Ernie Whitley. And I saw Ernie recently. He's a bit of a super mathematician. But again, he's been working hard in every single subject at home. So well done, Ernie. And Mr. Macram has nominated Oliver. Well done, Oliver, for being such a strong learner. In year four, we have a boy and a girl. In 4S, we have Maisie. And year four teachers found this difficult. I had a look at your Padlet pages and there was so much learning. Do you know there was so much learning that when I tried to have a look, it took such a long time to load because the page just went on and on and on. And I kept scrolling down and I didn't get to the end. 
I thought, goodness me, these your year four children have done so much work at home. But Maisie, your name was on there a lot, so well done you. And in 4ES, Jaden, Miss Scott really noticed you doing your best, so well done you. In year five, again we have a boy and a girl. In 5F, we have Kira, and in 5MW, we have Pip. Your teachers said that you really stood out as being determined, making effort, always attending, even staying behind on Zoom to ask some questions or for a bit more help. That's what really good learners do. Well done, you two. And last but not least, in year six, again, Mr. Locke was disappointed. He nominated Mrs. Nairn a second because she worked super hard. And I think in January, maybe, maybe you could nominate a teacher. Maybe there's a teacher that could get the special award. And maybe you could give your reasons why you think it should be your teacher. But sorry, Mrs. Nairn, it isn't for you this time. This is going to Jake. Jake in 6L, well done. And Miss Vladdy has chosen another boy. She has chosen someone who quietly gets on with it. Doesn't make a lot of fuss, but keeps on wanting more and more challenge. They don't choose something they can do easily. They choose something that they know will help them learn. So well done, Ali. Congratulations to all of you special learners who are really, really building your learning power. Um, everybody, I want you to give yourself a great big pat on the back because this was not an easy decision. You've all worked so, so hard and we're very, very proud of you. Well done. Hopefully we won't have to do that again, but I do know if we do, your learning won't suffer. You will still be at home learning and doing your best. So well done, all of you. Have a very, very Merry Christmas. I will ask you to do one very important thing for me. Christmas is a special time, and it's a special time where we care about people and we, we say thanks. We say thanks for all the things that we have, and I want you to make sure that whoever you're with this Christmas you look after them. You make sure that they're happy and you do some kind things for them. Okay. Happy Christmas. I will see you very, very soon.